Well hey there people. Well this video, it's the last few days that I spent in Sudbury, Ontario. Um, I have to say it's uh, probably like the last few days were the best days. Uh, this video starts off pretty sad. Uh, I went to visit my dad and this and that. Well you're gonna see all that. I apologize about the sadness but it gets exciting about midway through and by the end it gets pretty hilarious. Just like that, we're fishing in Ontario. Boom! Yeah. Right? Just like that. Well, the fishing trip didn't go so well. Um, as soon as we launched the boat, uh, it started pouring rain, lightning. Lightning hit the water like not far from us and made it like a big ripple. It's pretty scary. So we got off there pretty fast. Anyway, they tried. Uh, Shelly's cousin Cassidy and her boyfriend Kat, uh, they took me out. We tried, but uh, the lightning on the water was no fun. Thanks a lot for taking me out. It was fun while it lasted. Anyway, uh, thanks for putting me up. Uh, they put me up for the night, Shelly and I. We had a blast. Good, good times. But shut. And that's downstairs, Marshall's palette bar that he made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you still have pictures of all that? Yeah. See, she had two deer and I grabbed one and I put them on top of the other. <laughs> Shelly was pretty mad at me. I was angry. <laughs> I Don't thought it was funny. Still, they're still alive. They're everywhere. What's that, a 200M or a 200? It's a 200 probably. Anyway, I lost my dad. Uh, long story short, um, my mom had a miscarriage. Um, they couldn't afford to bury this kid. They got him buried. They was four thousand dollars back in the day, right? Um, and uh, they never got him a tombstone or whatever. And my dad, he did some homework. He investigated, and he found out where he was buried and this and that. My old man bought him a tombstone. So we're gonna go see. Uh, they named him Baby Saint Jean. My older brother. Dad's brand new vehicle. Um, it's got under 2,000 kilometers on it. <laughs> he never goes anywhere. Right, here's the cemetery. <clears throat> so we're gonna go visit my brother, my Uncle Merce. Uncle Merce is my godfather. Um, who else is here? We're gonna be here for hours. My dad's gonna love it. I'm trying to spend as much time with dad as I could. He's not doing so well. Okay. Um, that's my brother, right there. That's my brother. And that's my dad. Brother and my dad. How awesome. Look at that. Remember we got kicked out of the cemetery? There, there, your uncle Mark. Hey. Oh, yeah. Huh? My godfather. That's the beer. Beer wow. Did you guys name me because of Uncle yeah. Mars? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, I'm not one to come to cemeteries, but I'm glad I did, you know? Okay, got it. That's your, your godfather and your grandfather. Okay? All good. Wow. You don't want to see. What your dad told me? What? We're still here at the cemetery. Like that was so hard. My God, I haven't cried that much. But now we're going to visit my mom. I always, I always said I'll never go see my mom's grave or whatever. I'd rather remember her alive, right? But anyway, for my dad's sake, <coughs> we're going to see my mom. So this this one's going to be a hard one. I said like. My mom's here, obviously. I said I'd never come back. Like, I wanted to remember her alive, not dead. But I'm doing this for my dad, right? It's going to be hard. <sighs> She's just right in the corner. Right here, man. <laughs> I'm trying to do my rounds. Like, there's just so many people I have to visit. No time to do it. Let's go see if Mike's home. This guy saved my life. No more cigarettes. No more vaping either, so. Welcome back to Sudbury. Look at that mess. Wow. Kidding me? We're going out for dinner with uh, Grandpa Pat and Shelly's mom. 
I found this at Costco. We're, we're just killing time. So let's take this for a ride. Maybe. It's like they knew I was coming. They didn't put a charge on it. So no ride for me. Is this the one that has the graffiti on it? Yeah, I don't I, think it's on this side. No, it's on the other side. So I left Shelly behind. Um, I'm just taking a walk. I might go check out the local bar. I don't know. Just walking. I miss my Sudbury. This is a, um, well, Kathleen Street, Prostitute Alley, or what you would not call it, or whatever. No prostitute yet. Not that I'm looking, I'm just saying. Seen one yesterday, she weighed like maybe 600 pounds. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know what? There is a lot wrong with that. Watch what you eat. Just a random bed bug. Well, anyway, we're on College Street here in Sudbury, Ontario, and I found this guy. I'm walking to the Colson Hotel. I'm gonna go uh, surprise Dan Sugarban. Dan Sugarban's uh, the DJ at the strip joint, so I'm gonna go say hi to him. But doesn't he look like Homer Simpson? I'm gonna leave him there. He's probably full of bed bugs. Why else would he be on the street? Well, on my way to the bar, I ran into this guy, uh, he recognized me from YouTube. Uh, his name is Chris Swain. Oh, anyway, he, we had a beer on the street and other things. Anyway, he kidnapped me. We went to the uh, Nickel City real quick. Uh, here's a little clip about that. I can't do the full song because of the copyright. But right on, Chris, you kick ass. Like He's the singer in the band. It's not even his band. He crashed the band. He just grabbed the microphone and went at her. So, Emmy of Millennial Bug. Is this a video? It's a video, yes. Hey, hey you want to see my AC? Yes, I do. That's a portable air conditioner. This is an X23 unit. Okay, uh, great, great unit. Dude, it's not the same. If it aims this way, for you, it does it if you're not directly in front of it. I'm blasting over the kit. Do you, do you guys remember this guy? Face is omnidirectional. Put it on me for a sec. I'll tell you straight up. I just joined on that Facebook shit. I never done a needle in my knife. Oh wait, a needle in my knife? A left in my needle. Hey, get the. Fuck. How many needles you done, man? How many times you piss your pants? Eighteen times. I only pissed my pants one time. I'm proud of it though. I really am. It was. It, it's a warm. It was a warm feeling. Yeah. I made it to the Colson. I'm sitting behind the Colson Hotel right now. For some reason, they didn't let me in with a bag full of beer. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just waiting for my buddy Steve to show up, and, uh, and then we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to <laughs> so I'm sure we know with my buddy Steve, hey, no face. Hey. Oh, you want? Yeah. Uh, I learned this from uh, the YouTuber guy there. Yeah. Woman, sexy she is. Well, there's free pizza, oh. at least. Smile! Yeah! Smile! Fuck. Yeah, that's nice. Threaten people? Don't cut through my yard, that's all I said. Don't cut through my yard. <laughs> Crackheads, eh? Or meth heads, I should say. He threatened to burn down my house, that's what he said. I told him, hey, I don't cut through my yard. That's twice today this guy cut through my yard. Now he's gonna burn down my house. Meanwhile, back in River Valley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh! You almost went to it. Why would you do that? I'm drinking, man. Well, well you should be drinking, drinking and driving. Right? That's a pretty sexy little kid's toy.
Talk to you in a private about uh, private about go. Well, we gotta talk about the bug on Steve's head that. though though. Oh shit. It was it a while ago it was down here and now I'll it's like that. it's moved. It's about that rash. That rash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, had me going. I was wondering. Oh, what? I thought but I actually do have to speak. Oh shit! Stop. Stop. Daddy, if Stop. you needed it, honey, He's got I was the bug. gonna cover your rash. Oh not again, like, oh, Steve. What did you do? Stay in that lane. Dead skin gloves. Yeah. Oh, well, what's really going on? Dr. Bong's in the house. Dr. Bong. I made these out of strips. I had to get them myself. So if we look over here. This is a, a piece that was uh, painted by Nancy Mulkey. That's uh, Craig Mulkey's wife. And uh, I saw that on, uh, on the Facebook and I said, How much for the Rasta alien? And she said, uh, I'll sell it to you for 30. And I said, Sold. And uh, a couple of months go by, and uh, I says to myself, Dr. Bong, wouldn't you like another piece to go with that one? And I said, Nancy, would you paint another piece to go along with the alien? And she painted me this. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> Dr. Bong. Looks like we're back in Edmonton. You can smell it. What a stink. So we're about an hour away from home now, I guess. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. These guys must be getting wet, eh? <laughs> He's on his phone, the passenger guy. That's hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, people, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, big, big cheers. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later.